who is now our governor in waiting for Bungoma, Mama Esther Bakiani, the first lady of Bungoma, and all colleagues who are contesting for various seats. Today marks the beginning of a remaining short journey because we have just about 64 days left to the elections. Our governor has presented his papers. They have been found in order. They have been accepted by IEBC and he has now been given the right to campaign with full confidence. As we have said before, our speakers, our governor candidate is going to be the totem pole around which all other candidates are going to gravitate here in Bungoma. He also holds the opportunity as the coordinator of Kenya Kwanza campaigns in the region. So he's going to be very, very hands-on to make sure that whatever demands placed upon him and expectations will be met and like he has said and I quote, he will be ready to tackle on the ground, in the air and underwater where necessary to make things work. We as uh, Kenya Kwanza and Fort Kenya in particular, we are very proud that uh, we have a candidate who is tested, who is proven and who is popular and who is going to deliver this seat to the party. We also want to urge IEBC that we want to see them being strict with those who flout the law particularly. We have some of our opponents whose trademark is violence. But we also want to send a word to them that we have no assault intentions, but we have defense mechanisms ready. We will not assault anybody, but we will vigorously and uh, very strongly defend our candidates anywhere and everywhere. And the casualties will go to them who are to assault our people. <laughs> we want to urge everybody, <coughs> and this I want to address now at the national level. Yesterday, we presented our presidential candidate, William Samoe Ruto, to IBC the returning officer being Wafula Chibukati, the chairman of IEBC. And in the process, we also sounded our concern to the media. And we singled out several media houses, and we are not afraid to do so again, Citizen uh, Radio and TV, more particularly called Royal Media Services, Kameme FM, and uh, one other called Inoro, I think that's part of Royal Media, they have been conducting themselves very poorly. They have actually decided that they are the trumpeters of one of our opponents. Last week, we were all able to watch news and we were horrified to see that in 16 minutes, Royal Media, particularly Citizen TV, gave coverage for 14 minutes to our opponents and gave our candidate William Ruto, myself, Musalia Mudavadi, Moses Kuria, and Speaker Muturi, two minutes. After covering our opponent and his team for 14 whole minutes. This is against the Constitution, is against the law, is against ethics, and it's grossly unethical for any media house to behave like that. To give them credit, and I think because we sounded an alarm, last night Citizen TV gave us very fair coverage. And we hope it's not going to be a stint. It is going to be the business that they will do up to election time. We gave them the free hand to decide who to support. We can't force them to have the democratic right. But they must know that they occupy a position of public trust and public responsibility. Lastly, I want to urge Kenyans that we as Kenya Kwanzaa have confidence in IBC. Every complaint we have had, 
they have risen to the occasion and they have dealt with it. Our national chief agent, Professor Keture Kindiki, has been assigned the responsibility to ensure that in timely manner, any emerging issues that bring any fear, apprehensions, or disaffection among our members uh, is brought to IEBC so that they can deal with it. Equally here in Bungoma, we as Fort Kenya and Kenya Kwanzaa have confidence that IEBC will be able to do their job well and we urge the security agencies, particularly the so-called provincial administration and the police, to be fair to everybody. We are aware of machinations from the national government where they have been calling uh, people who used to be called DOs, DCs, chiefs and assistant chiefs, to manipulate and intimidate them to support a government-favored candidate. We tell them here and now that those machinations will fail because when our voters go to the voting booth, that policeman will not be there, that chief will not be there, that DC will not be there. But in the event that they go on manipulating and intimidating people, then they will also be resistant. And the resistance will be vibrant, the resistance will cause serious uh, disaffection and uh, may even cause discomfort to some of them. But we don't want to go that far. We want to ensure that the path that we are walking, the campaigns we are carrying out, are free and fair. Free and fair means free for the voter and fair to the candidate. And that is what we must have. Kwa hivyo nduguzetu wa Bungoma, we now give you the best candidate you can have. We now give you the candidate who is going to reconstruct Bungoma. We give you a candidate who is going to deconstruct the mess that has been visited on Bungoma. And we give you a candidate who is going to make every resident of Bungoma proud to be a resident of Bungoma. Because things are going to work and work well for everybody. Finally, finally, Kenya Kwanzaa means business. It is now going to be Speaker Lusaka as our candidate who is going to sign a charter born out of the economic forum we had in Kimilili with the Kenya Kwanzaa incoming government. That charter is going to determine the economic, social and political relationship between the county government and the national government as defined under Article 96 of the Constitution and under Article 6 of the Constitution. So we are ready to go and we are going to go. We want to caution our worthy opponents that we are ready to have a clean game. We don't want any hard tackles, but any hard tackles can be met with equal measure. Thank you.